All right, now part of the reason that we can't just solve these kinds of problems by solving a system of linear equations and just being done with it, the reason we have to do least squares, is because of the presence of errors. Uh, the training data that, that we are given has errors in it, and it's uh, not that we're actually modeling a function, but the thing that we're seeing is the function plus some, you know, some error term on each piece of data. So I think it's reasonable to, to think about like, where do these errors come from? So I don't know. What do you what do you think, Charles? Why why is it that we're trying to fit data that has errors in it? What, can't we just <laughs> can't we just have no errors? I would like to have no errors. Certainly, my code has no errors. Um, well, so let's see. Where might errors come from? So they could come from sensor error, right? Just somehow you're you're getting inputs and you're getting outputs, and that output's being read by uh, some machine or or by a camera or by something, and you just there's just error in the way that you read the data, just an error in the sensors. All right. Can you think of uh, other ways? I mean, I guess, I guess in this case, you're imagining that the data came by actually measuring something with the machine. Uh, so that, that makes a lot of sense. What other, what other ways can we put together the data? Uh, I don't know. I can think of a bunch. I mean, the error could, well, the errors could come maliciously. There could be some, something out there that is trying to give us bad data. All right, that seems like a possibility that the, when, when the data set was collected, let's say that we're uh, collecting various, um, oh, maybe, f uh, oh, this happens, this happens a lot. So, so if you're trying to collect data from other computer science departments and you're trying to put together some kind of collection of, you know, how much do you spend on your graduate students, say, uh, sometimes these departments will actually misrepresent the data and give you give you things that are wrong because they don't want to tell you the truth because they're afraid of what you're going to do. Yeah, it. I've noticed everyone does that except for Georgia Tech and Brown University. Yeah, they are highly honest and reputable universities in my experience. Yeah, that's what I feel. Uh, well, another time that you can get uh, data is if somebody's uh, copying stuff down. So what about sort of the idea of a transcription error? Mm -hmm. So we're just, you know, we've copied everything, but, you know, there's, there's just some of the some of the lines that got filled in just got mistyped. Yeah, do you, and you think that's different from sensor error? Well, it's it's maybe a slightly different kind of sensor error, right? So sensor errors, we're actually saying there's something physical that's being measured and there's just noise in that. Uh, transcription error is similar, except it's a person, hmm. <laughs> right? The, the, there's little blips in the person's head. And they can do, it can be a very different kind of error. You can get uh, like transpositions of digits maybe instead of um, just, you know, noise. Okay. Uh, how about um, how about one more? How about uh, there's really just noise in the process? So how about that 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 we took an input x, but there's something else going on in the world that we weren't measuring, uh, and so the output might depend on other things besides simply the input that we're looking. At. Right. So what would be an example of that? So an unmodeled influence might be well, let's, if let's we're look at the housing data. Remember in the this housing data. That's what I. That's what I was thinking exactly. So the, in the housing data, we were just trying to relate the size of the houses to the price. But there's a lot of other things like to the houses to the price. But location, and location. Location and location, right. Those are three really good reasons that are not in the particular regression that we did that could actually influence the, the, the prices. So, right, that and, uh, you know, the quality of the house and who built it and uh, even, you know, even, the color, even time the of day colors. or... Uh, what the interest rates were that morning versus the ne what people thought they might be the next day. Who knows? Right. And so all these different things aren't being considered in that particular regression. So we're just kind of imagining that it's noise, that it's just having a, a just a, a bumpy influence on the whole process. Sure. All right. So, uh, so what I'd like you to do is select the ones that you think actually are important, the ones that, um, that, that could actually come up when you're using machine learning and regression to solve real problems. 